Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Hey guys, it's Jenny with Roots and Wings Furniture and Kristen with The Serene Space and we are coming to you live from Michael's because we thought we would just go through the store and do a little shopping for you for your entryway and we wanted to show you our three favorite things each. So, to start things off, um, do you remember a couple weeks ago when we were talking about leaves and how we spray painted because the metallics are in? Look at this. They have leaf. This one is the copper. And this one is the gold. And here are some bud branches. And I gotta tell you, if you want your floral pieces, like a big floral piece in your entryway to look more real, kind of look for the look for the blossoms or the leaves. Um, those tend to look a little bit more real than some of the flowers. And check this out. We also found this cute little hurricane. So you can stick them in there. And I couldn't show you exactly because you need to cut the bottom. See how pretty is that? Like a big floral piece for your entryway. So check this out. It's gold. It goes awesome with the metallics. Okay? So that's the first thing. That's my first find. Perfect. All right, guys. Uh, talking about organization and how to make your foyer completely functional, the first thing that we're going to talk about, and I'm going to show you actually two different options. It depends on the space that you have. But our first option here thinking about your keys and your mail. So as you're walking in the door, the first thing that you have in your hand and you wanna just dump them somewhere. So if you don't have a console space, utilize that vertical space on your wall. So this is wonderful for whether it be keys, wallets, your mail, you can even clip important things that you need on here. Super cute, again, functional, but yet yeah, utilize that vertical space. The other option that you have, if you have that console table and you have we need to decline that um, be aware of the size of the bowl and know what you need to put in the bowl so for example this one right here might be great again if you come in and this is where you want to put your mail and your keys but the bigger the bowl the more likely you are to dump stuff in it so be aware of that all right and then we were talking all about mirrors here is a mirror that we found and it has check out that cool distressed finish kind of the teal look um, so it's a great mirror and remember this is just to check yourself check your makeup as you walk out the door um so this is great and it's small and it's lightweight so it's easy to hang and you could really fit this anywhere so even a small mirror is really helpful and don't forget you set this opposite your window so you reflect light if you can do that. So there's a cool mirror. It's a good option for you. Fun. All right, our next fun find here at Michael's. So we have, obviously, whether or not it's your guest or you, and depending on the space that you have in your foyer closet, but this here, just a super cute piece, and you could potentially hang keys on it, but it's great for, again, if a guest is coming over and they want to hang their purse, their coats, um, that sort of thing. So you can always do something like this or individual hooks that you can just hang throughout the wall. Your choice. All right, and I found this key, which it's kind of fun to always hang a key or something like that in your entryway. So here's a key. And remember, if you're doing something metal and you don't really like the color, this kind of has the rust finish. If you want to change the color of metal, Michaels has rub and buff. And this stuff is awesome because um, Antique gold is my favorite color, which they have here, but you just stick it a little bit on your finger or a Q-tip, you just rub it on the surface, it dries really quick and it's permanent. So if you wanna give anything a shine, um, even your kitchen hardware or anything like that, any metal piece like that, if you don't like the color, just pick up some of this stuff and um, it'll give you the color you want. So that's awesome. Okay, and our last fun find for the trip to Michael's here. Um, <laughs> a basket or a bin or a box of some sort. Um, these are wonderful for obviously all of the shoes that come in. You can also use them for the hats, the gloves, the scarves that you end up needing in the winter time. So these I recommend um, giving, whether it's a kid or each adult, their own bin so that way their immediate shoes, the shoes that they wear the most often go here. The other ones we'll find a different place for, um, like the church shoes or the special shoes. They can be up in the room. Um, so if you have, for example, um, like Jenny showed in her video yesterday, 
her great console, but she had storage space underneath. Um, I have a pew bench in my foyer, so underneath there could go the baskets or simply in your foyer closet. But cute basket for shoes or scarves or gloves. Yes, anything. <laughs> All right, we hope you guys liked what we found today. Don't forget, if you do anything to your entryway, hashtag it with space lift so we can see, because we'd love to see what y'all do, and we'd love to share it if we can. Yes, and be sure to jump on our Facebook and social media sites, but subscribe to our email addresses. That way, you're sure to get a recap at the end of the week of all of the different entryway or different areas of the home. So, All right, guys, happy Tuesday. We'll see you later. <laughs>